here we go. Okay, now here it is. Here it is. Fuck, fuck. I don't even know how to say the F word. I don't even, hello, testing, testicles, testing. <sighs> when, it, when is it ever going to work out perfectly? And sometimes it does, but it's already not. It's already, there we go, a little bit louder now, 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 a little bit louder now. Now it's working. Now it's working and now we're started. We're started now and we started, okay? Did we start? Yeah, we did. We started. How do you know you started, Mike? Because you can hear my voice. Now there's a lot of things we're going to get into. That's how I start. I start by saying there's a lot of things we're going to get into, okay? Is there everything is everything going on? All right? Is everything correct? Everything is correct. I can hear myself. Levels are not going into red. They are a little bit. Sorry. Sorry if that was too loud. Just turn the volume down on your end. How about that? How about you turn the volume down on your end and then it's not that big of a deal? Because right now it sounds good. The spikes are spiking. There's not a lot of red and we're good. There's no red. And that's what you're supposed to have. You're supposed to be hearing my voice. That means the podcast started. Wow, he's rambling. Did the coffee kick in? Earlier, earlier it kicked in. I'm just doing water right now. I'm just going to be doing water because I'm going to speak on some things. And when I speak on things, I'm going to need to have a nice non-dry mouth. <coughs> okay. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Could anybody <coughs> be dumber than me? Wow, I'm stupid. <coughs> How do you choke on water, you stupid idiot? So what's up? We started and this is how it starts. The podcast started because you pushed play. Now, it's so funny when people say, hey, welcome to the podcast. And I know I tell you this every week, but I just want to remind you guys, leave a five-star review, okay? <coughs> Still kind of coughing because I choked on water. So the problem is I'm excited. I'm a little excited. <laughs> Dude. I'm 36 and I still get excited to wake up the next day. Is that weird? Is that weird that I'll 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 wake up, like last night I'm in bed. I'm in bed last night and I'm like I'm thinking about I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about doing this episode that I'm doing right now. And I I'm thinking about it and my mind's running. Well, first off, I was falling asleep and it was like 2:33. I'm 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 go, I'm fading away and I'm falling asleep and then around 3:15, 3:30, bam, I'm just wide awake and my mind's running. And I don't know why this is happening. I I, I don't know why all of a sudden I'm awake and and I, I'm awake and I have these ideas and so I start writing them down and it's for this episode that I'm doing right now and I was excited to wake up like it was Christmas morning. And I know that other people have experienced this but for me it's a little weird cuz I'm like why, why why can't I go to bed? Why am I so excited to do this episode? Because I recorded an episode yesterday. I recorded the black and white episode. And then I watched it and I edited it, edited it, edited it, edited it, and I'm not happy with it. And I don't like it and it's I'm a little disappointed in it. So I was like, I want to redo an episode. And a lot of podcasters will tell you they do this sometimes. Sometimes we don't feel right about it. And I still think I'm going to put it out. But I was really excited that I wanted to talk about how I felt like I failed and I didn't do good enough. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to redo an episode and that's the episode I'm going to put out. And I'm just going to do it on my own. I'm not going to wait for my engineer to be here, the it. And I'm just going to kind of – I'm going to I'm gonna start off today in a good mood. I'm going to be in good energy. And, you know, I'm going to I'm like, I'm going to get after the day and I'm, I'm going to have a fun time doing this episode. And I'm, I was excited. I was excited to wake up because I was thinking about that in bed last night. I was like, I can't wait to wake up tomorrow. And I don't know if you guys feel that way sometimes, but I think that we should all strive to get to that point. We should all be excited to wake up for the next day. We should be like, OK, this is going to be fun. This is going to be we have something to look forward to. And I've stressed that. Throughout this podcast a lot. I've said, let's have things to look forward to. Maybe it's hard during COVID. Maybe, you know, you had a vacation that got canceled. But there are things that you could look forward to even in the week. Like last week, I made guacamole and I had some chips and I had some beer and I had a couple buddies over. And it was a grand old time. It was a grand old time. And that's a piano song you could learn. I've been learning the keyboard, as you guys know. You could learn that song, okay? And you could have a grand old time on a Friday or a Saturday night. You could even do it on a Wednesday night. It doesn't matter what night of the week you do it, but as long as you're having fun and you appreciate those moments, okay? I had two men and a woman, and we all sat around, and we, we had a couple beers, and we ate chips, and we just talked, and we laughed, and we learned about each other, and that was fun, and that's what I think is important. So be excited to 
do something or look forward to something, even if it's not that big of a deal, even if it's small. It doesn't have to be a big project. Even if you want to come up with a project, like you're going to redo your kitchen in 2022, it might be two years away, but it's something to start planning for and look forward to. Okay, so today I wanted to wake up with a fresh start and do this episode, which is going to be an episode about my last episode, which is really confusing. You guys are going to be really confused, but I woke up and I want you to know when you're in your 30s, there's no rules really. Like I woke up and what did I have for breakfast? A chocolate chip cookie. I had cookies for breakfast. I'm allowed to have cookies for breakfast. There's no rules. And that was one thing I always looked forward to when I was a little kid. I would, when I was a little kid, I was like, when I get older, I want to be able to eat whatever I want whenever I want. And I'm doing that now. I'm living my dream. I woke up and I had two chocolate chip cookies for breakfast with a coffee. It doesn't matter what you eat in the morning. It really doesn't. They say the most important meal of the day is your breakfast. Is it really? Because whatever I have, it doesn't matter. I'm going to burn those calories off because I know I'm going to work hard past it. Okay? I'll burn those calories off. Some of you are like, well, I'll have eggs and bacon and sausage and and uh, english muffin with jelly and butter on it how do, how do we know what kind of how do we know what kind of calories we're intaking okay there could be 1600 right there in that breakfast what are my two cookies a thousand okay maybe a thousand and yeah it's sugar but i'll burn them off it's breakfast it's the beginning of the day and i'm going to take over the week and i'm going to take over the day and i'm going to take over my life and i'm going to take over your life as your coach because welcome to the takeover podcast and that's how we started this week we started this week with having cookies for breakfast and everybody needs to know that that's not a bad thing don't let people in society tell you hey having a cookie for breakfast is not right that's not true you don't you don't have to listen to them they're just negative they're haters there's no reason you can't have chocolate chip cookies for breakfast now if you had chocolate chip cookies for dinner it's a little worrisome if you had seven. If you have seven at 11 p.m., you might be like, okay, well, that's not gonna, that's not gonna do well for me. That might add uh, add some inches to the belly. So whatever. That's the way you want to live your life. Sometimes I'll do that though. I'll have seven cookies at 11 p.m. and then that motivates me the next day to work out harder. And I do. I work out even harder because I think about those seven cookies. So let's not have all these negative thoughts and theories about chocolate chip cookies because they do help us. They do motivate a lot of people. And if they don't motivate you, that's on you. Then maybe don't have chocolate chip cookies. But chocolate chip cookies motivate me. They motivate me to work harder. And if I have them in the morning, I'm thinking, well, I won. I did something right in life where I could wake up today and I could start my day with two chocolate chip cookies. Not a lot of people can do that. And you might be listening to this thinking, what the hell is he talking about? Like, why is this even something to talk about? Because it needs to be said. Because not enough people are talking about it. Right now, you guys are worried about statues and whatever's going on in politics. And I'm telling you right now, we should be fighting for the right to eat whatever we want, whenever we want. As long as you're going to take care of your body after you eat those things. That's the rule. And that's the way it's going to be. Okay? Okay. Moving on now, I do hate the previous episode I did. I did a black and white episode. It was an experiment, but I didn't like it, and I'm not sure I want to post it. I'm going to post it, but I I want you to know that I felt like I didn't do a good enough job. I felt like I could have done better. Like My idea of the episode was for it to be way better than the way it came out, and I think everybody needs to know that it's okay to fail, Okay, and I'm still going to release the episode. All right. And I don't like it because I don't like the way I I did a lot of things. First of all, my it was here. I had my it as I introduced on the last episode. I have an it and my it. I revealed I revealed the sex of the it and I called the it name. I gave I gave the it a name and I don't like the way I I, I already I I don't like the way I went with the it. So I want to go back to calling my engineer the it. Okay, my engineer is called the it and that's how it's going to be going forward after the black and white episode. Now, if you guys aren't cool with that, I understand, but I didn't like the way I was doing it and I was upset that I did that and I could go through and edit the episode and take out all the pieces where I called it by its name, but there's no reason to. I'm going to I'm going to live with my mistakes and I'm going to live with what I put out there. And some people will like it and some people will hate it. And that's fine because we're growing artistically and we're growing as a person. And that's what that's what that's what we we want to really stress on this episode. Growing as a person. We're all growing. Right. And we're going to learn from our mistakes and we're going to get better. OK. In the black and white episode, I talk about how my curtains are wrinkled. I talk about how they were wrinkled and they were the middle curtains. And the middle curtains were wrinkled and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to have to deal with it because I was like, that's too much work for me to remove them and then throw them in the dryer with a wet sock or a wet towel to get the wrinkles out. 
I was not having it. And that's how I was. That was my mentality in the black and white episode. That's how I was thinking. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to live having that those wrinkles bother me. That's how I was thinking when I did that episode. I already, I, that episode is so bad in my head because I went off. I went away from what I was doing on this podcast. I went, I went away from what I was continuing to do and what was continuing to work, which is fine because that's how you grow is when you take chances. And I took a chance on that episode and I didn't like the outcome and I have to live with that. But today I woke up and I was like, let me better myself and let me start by having a chocolate chip cookie and fixing the curtains. So I took the middle curtains off and I got the wrinkles out because I wanted to dominate today. I wanted to live today and be like, well, I did something to better myself. And that's what I did. I got rid of the wrinkles. That means I bettered myself. But yesterday, I was like, I'm not going to better myself. I'm going to live with those. And I'm not going to let it bother me. Because I thought that was the issue. I thought the issue was that I'm so uptight and worried about something so minimal that it doesn't matter or really affect my life. So I said, ignore it and live with it. Because we want to grow as a person. And you guys should be growing too. And that's why you listen to the podcast. Because I'm here to help you grow. So in my mind, I... Carpental, car, carmental, carpentalized. Oh wow, that's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that I can't say that word, but you know what I'm talking about. And there's a lot of mistakes I make, and I know that you guys are gonna be like, "Wow, he's fully, 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 fully stupid and dumb." And that's okay. I can handle that because I'm gonna grow and become a better person because of that. Now I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that word that I can't say, and I'll get better one day and learn how to say it. But if I had my it here. It would help me say that word. Now, sometimes I need to hear it to be able to say it because I get a little, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous right now because I know that I'm on and I have to be on and I'm performing. And if I slow down and try to think about it, I'm going to ruin the flow that I like is going on right now. This flow is perfect. I like the flow that's happening and that's what the takeover is. I flow like this. I'm flowing like a nice little river, a nice little river in the middle of the country. A nice river where maybe your your family goes camping and then and and you're like, hey, dad, come look at this river. And he's like, you know, I've learned about these rivers and I've been around a lot longer because I have wisdom. You know, uh, you can drink from this river. You know, there's rivers you can actually drink from. It's clean water. And that's special. That's what the flow is right now. This is a special flow and you could drink from my flow right now. So if you're listening, you're all good. Everybody's good because we're, we're on a good flow. Okay, now what was I talking about? I kind of forgot. I don't have it here. Now it's going to be a little disappointed that I did a podcast behind its back, but I had to. Again, I had to to better myself. I had to wake up, start with a cookie, have a coffee, get the wrinkles out, and then talk about how I felt about my previous work that I did. Okay, not everything you do is going to be great, and we know that. And that goes with everybody in life, with anything you're doing right now. Not everything you, you do is going to be great. I mean, Michael Jordan only won six championships. If you think about it like that, he played, what, 14 seasons, only won six. You got to think about it like that. Still a goat. Still a goat. And you can be a goat too if you check out the Patreon slash the takeover. You can be a part of the Patreon and there is a, uh, there is a, a tier where you're a goat. If you want to be a goat, sign up. I released the black and white episode on there first because I wanted my team, my team of 100 that is growing. We want to get it to 100 people. They, I wanted them to see my mistake first. And they're all like, no, we like it. And I understand some of you are going to be like, I don't even understand what the problem is with the black and white episode. I don't like the way it turned out. And that's all that matters. Okay. Even if you like it, I'm not happy with it because I know I could have done it better and I rushed it and it wasn't as polished. But again, I'm going to grow from it because it's not going to be the the last black and white episode I do. I'm going to do other black and white episodes and I'm going to be more polished about it. I'm going to be better. I'm going to be more diligent and I'm going to work harder at making it better. Okay. So I learned from it. So that's good. I'm learning from my mistakes. And I think that you guys could learn from that too. Okay. That's what we want to do. We want to better ourselves. We want to. We want to. We want to know about our mistakes. And if you, if you, if you're able to handle constructive criticism, even if it's from yourself, then you can better yourself. Now, I don't want you to be negative. I don't want you to get in your head. A lot of us will get in our head about stuff, right? We get in our heads about relationships. We get in our heads about uh, the work we're doing, with regardless to whatever we do in our lives. We get in our head about the way we, 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 you know do things, our actions towards activities, maybe the way we acted at a family reunion, 
the way we acted towards a friend during a confrontation, the way we acted on a date. We'll overthink things. You are your own worst enemy, and everybody knows that. A wise man once said nothing. That's a quote. But a wise man also once said that you are your worst enemy. You'll get in your own head, especially if you're somebody who's listening, who's a comedian, or you do anything music-wise, artistically. You are your own worst critic. That is true. And that's good, though, to have because you want to – because you know, and we talked about this about the Ira Glass episode, right? You you know what you want to do artistically. And I talk about this on the black and white episode. You know what you want to do. You see it in your mind. You're like, this is what I have in invi- this is what I have this is my idea. My idea for what I want to do is this. And I want it to be great. And then you attempt it and it's not that great. And you know it's not that great, but you still go on with it because you're just trying to put yourself out there. It's hard. It's hard to put yourself out there and it not turn out the way you want it. And and part of me didn't want to release that episode, which, you know, I, I, I still don't. I don't want to release the episode because I don't think it's great. I think it's one of my worst episodes I've ever done. OK, but I'm going to release it. And it's just you're going to get two episodes this week. That's cool for you. It's more content for you. But I don't, and I uh, also, I don't need the, I'm not, uh, this isn't me doing a reverse psychology thing where I'm like, oh, I want you guys to message me saying you love the black and white episode. I don't, because let's be honest, if you're listening to this episode right now, you still have no idea what the black and white episode is because I'm releasing this first. This is episode 23, but it's actually episode 22. The black and white episode is going to be episode 23 but was supposed to be episode 22 if you're confused you're supposed to but just rewind push the 15 seconds back and then re-listen to what i just said it makes sense i promise okay again i'm feeling really good about this episode already the flow is coming out good i like the flow if i slowed down this podcast would be an hour and a half right now i don't even know how long i've been going we could check it we check it and we're only 17 minutes in what does that mean it means i'm fucked It means I'm fucked. It means I don't have enough content to keep going because I'm running out of things to talk about. So I'm going to take a sip of water and chill out. Not going to choke on the water. I'm not going to choke on the water. That's the thing, man. That's the thing about the the black and white episode. I'm just, I was really, it wasn't that I was insecure. It's just, I was like, I was really, I'm just not, it's not what I wanted it to be. And I don't want to redo it because I've already put those ideas out. Like the, it's already out and it's not going to come out. It's, it, I, I was trying to, it was, it was too scripted. That's what it was. And that's what that, this podcast has never been too scripted. It's always just been a note card with some bullet points. And then I will talk about those bullet points. But here I am with the black and white episode trying to do too much, trying to make it a beautiful thing. I was trying to make it a beautiful thing. And then in my mind, I was like, this is how it's going to look. And then when I watched it, I was like, this is not how it looked. It did not look how I expected expected it to look. And it, it made me a little upset. So because of that, I had to, you know, do this episode. That's why I'm doing episode 23 as episode 22. And I know that's confusing because you're like, why wouldn't you just call this episode whatever it is? And then the black and white episode be episode 23. I understand what you're saying. But now I'm in the world of my own podcast and my own bubble, and you guys are a part of it. You're a part of the team, especially if you're part of the Patreon. You're a part of it, and you are now involved, and that's why I think it's creative to at least make fun of myself and call episode 22 episode 23. So my 22nd episode is called episode 23, and then my 23rd episode will be the black and white episode. Does that make sense? I could even put in parentheses the black and white episode that should have been episode 22. But then it's too ma- too many words because when I do like like the little flyers with uh, which my buddy uh, I've tagged him in on my takeover pod before. Um, Edgar, I believe is his name. He makes my little um, thumbnail photos. He does a great job. So that would be too many words for him to fit. So we don't want to ma- we don't want it to be too wordy. The point of the whole day is. We woke up eating chocolate chip cookies and I got the wrinkles out. And I I had told myself that I didn't have to get the wrinkles out, but I did. I I I I was I sat there and I go, you know what? This isn't this isn't the way I should be. All right. This isn't this isn't the way I want it to be. Okay. I want to be more 
I, I, I want to be better, and I'm being better by doing that. I, I, was, it was, I wasn't bothered by the wrinkles. It was because the wrinkles weren't good enough to be. That wasn't good enough. I shouldn't be able to live with the wrinkles. Like I shouldn't, I shouldn't tell myself it's okay to not make your bed. It's not. I wake up every day and I make my fucking bed. And that's how everybody should be. Even if you don't think it's a big deal, it feels better. There's no, I mean, I, I'm not going to do flimsy premises. I know I do sometimes, but I will say people that wake up and make their bed every morning are more likely to not be a loser. That's what I'm going to say. Now, that's not a flimsy premise. Now, if I said people who wake up every morning and make their bed are more likely to be successful, I don't know if that's true because I do know a lot of successful people that don't make their bed because their brain doesn't operate that way. They're just like in a go, go, go mode, okay? I have friends that are very messy that are successful. I'm just very organized and I'm not successful. Just kidding. Wanted to just slam myself. Wanted to let you know that it's okay to make fun of yourself. People like that. People want humility. No matter what you are doing in life, make sure you always have humility. And that's being present. And that's the next thing we're going to talk about. You have to. You can't be too involved and self-indulged in yourself. And I've been guilty of that. I have. There's times I look I look at myself in the past and I go, what was I thinking? I had no humility. I couldn't even handle constructive criticism. I couldn't even make fun of myself. You have to be able to make fun of yourself. Those are, those are people that people want to be around. Think about that. Do you want to be around someone that makes fun of themselves and can handle it? That's fun. That's a fun time. Those Karens that you see online, the Karens of Instagram, that account's fun. They're not, they will not make fun of themselves, which is ironic because most of them have a lot of things you can make fun of them about. Most of the Karens are not in good shape or in good mental health. So those are facts. Those aren't flimsy premises. But I want to be more present. I have to. There was something I heard on Rogan's podcast with Kevin Hart that he said at the end of the night, he will put his cell phone He'll lock his cell phone in his office at the end of the night. So it's just family time. So for hours, he is just present with his family. That's hard to do. I don't know if any of you have tried that. And I don't also, I don't know if you guys are as addicted to your phone as some people are. I feel like a lot of comedians are or a lot of um, the younger generation. Like my mom and dad don't have that problem. And my sister doesn't as much, but like... I definitely had that problem. I think a lot of people in their 20s have that problem. And I'm sure even the younger generation, whenever you start to get it, I don't know how old are, ki- how old are people when they get their cell phones. I mean, my generation, we didn't really get cell phones till we started like 16, 17 years old. I don't know. Like, like I don't know what the rules are. I mean, I know my nephews don't have a cell phone yet and they're 10 and 7. But like our kids having cell phones at 13, like when when do they start? But I do know that my nephews are on their they're on their devices a lot. Like my nephew, my youngest nephew, he's seven. He takes a shit with his iPad and he takes 20 minute shits. There's no reason a seven year old should be taking a 20 minute shit. I mean, he's taking a shit like an old man. I mean, and he has no shame. He has no shame. Like my my 10 year old will open the door and be like, Brady, what are you doing? And he'll just be on the ipad will be on his lap and he's watching it his legs hanging off because he's small just hanging off door wide open you can see the 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 downstairs bathroom wide open and he just his legs are hanging out on the bath and he'll look at him hear him and then not respond and then go back to the ipad and just sit there with his pants down on his ankles just mid shit or done he might even be done shitting but just shits with his ipad and goes, I'm watching something. He finishes episodes on the toilet. I don't even do that. Now, there are times when I'll be in the bathroom and I'll be on like Twitter or Instagram. And then, you know, I'll be watching like a little Colin Coward segment, you know, or something from one of the sports shows I watch. And then I get out of there. But I don't think I'm ever in there more than 10 minutes. I'll like put my phone away and be like, let's get out of here. Like if, you're, if your feet are falling asleep in the bathroom then your life is falling asleep. And that's a quote we could put on a shirt. Could we put that on a shirt? It, where are you? You're not here. You're going to be upset I did a podcast behind your back. But I had to do this for myself because I want to better myself. 
okay? Because I wasn't feeling right about the black and white episode. And I know I keep going back to that, but it's just something I want you guys to be aware of that it's okay to understand that it's okay to realize you you did something that's not great. That's, I guess, what I'm sharing. Not everything you do is going to be great, and that's what I did. And going back to the shitting thing, let's not have our feet fall asleep. Let's try to better ourselves. Let's try to be more present. Be present when you poop. Have you ever tried to go to poopy poops? Have you tried to go poopy poops without your phone? When's the last time you did that? I can't even say I've done that. That's crazy. I don't even know the last time I've done something like that. That would be insane to do, to actually go to the bathroom without a poop poops. To go to the bathroom without a poop poops. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. Great. Accidentally turned the Xbox on. I had a PlayStation. I had a PlayStation and an Xbox. I'll end this argument right now. Now, this isn't part of the show. This was never part of the show. Now, this is what I love about my podcast is an idea will pop up and I'm going to run with it. And that's what I like. The black and white episode was too structured. I had I had two two big conspiracies that I wanted to go into. And you'll you'll see it on the black and white episode, which will I'll release probably Saturday because this episode's coming out. If you're watching this, it's either Wednesday or Thursday. But the black and white episode I'll put out Saturday, okay? And you'll see I went into these conspiracies, and there it was too structured. I, I had this idea, and it just didn't come out as polished as I want it. And I don't want to spend this whole episode talking about the black and white episode because again. I'm feeling good, the river's flowing, and we're being positive, and we're trying to better ourselves. So what we've learned this week is like, listen, when we go to the bathroom, let's try to go without our phone. But let's also try to be more present in general with with relationships when you're talking to someone. I realized before I started meditating, before this quarantine, quarantine has made me a better person. And that has been a message spread throughout my podcast this whole, ever since COVID hit. I was like, let's come out of COVID a better person. And I want to remind you guys that again, are we, are we doing that? What did you do? I picked up playing the keyboard. I picked up being active every day, whether it's running or working out. Okay. I picked up trying to, uh, uh, pushing this podcast even more the way, how much energy I put in this podcast. I want to create that. But I also picked up the meditating, becoming a better person. Now I, I was not a present person before COVID. I was not, I would, I would kind of be in conversations, but I wouldn't be listening or be there for someone. But I mean, growing from COVID, from meditating, being able to put my phone down and talk to someone and be present with them. That's huge. I mean, there's someone I was hanging out with before COVID and then now we're hanging out now. I I didn't see them for a while and they were telling me stories and I was like, oh, that's crazy. When did that happen? They're like, I've told you this before. And I had no idea or recollection, 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 I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for for me, I'm embarrassed for my family, and I'm embarrassed for anyone who supports me. The fact that I'm messing up words and I have nobody here to help me correct them. I have no recollection. God, God help my soul. Mom, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this, Mom. And I know it's not your fault because you're a very smart woman. And you were like one of the valedictorians of your school. And then you married someone like my father. And my father's second language was English because he's Italian. So I would listen to him speak and it messed me up. That's not, why am I blaming my father for the way I speak? It's not his fault either. It's because I didn't read a lot of books. And let's play some music right now. This is going to be sad. I didn't read a lot of books growing up. And it was because it was boring. I was more of a fast-paced, wanted activities that were entertaining, like playing sports. Or I like to play with action figures or play with cars. I used to have little toy cars, and I would set up neighborhoods. And I would be like, this is my home. And I had my car, and then I had my everyday car, and then I had my sports car, and then my wife had a car. So now I'm up to four cars. And then in my head, I had a family. When I would play cars, I had a whole family. I was like, my son has a car and my daughter has a car. So I had seven cool cars. And then I lived in this house. The house was were invisible. The only thing that wasn't invisible were the cars. So I had the house with all my cars, my seven cars, and they were dope. And that was a game I played. And then I also had the whole community and i would set up intersections where all the cars were at the intersections different intersections and i'd go green light and i'd move the cars and then the other cars would sit at the red light 
and then I would be like, all right, my car, we have to go to the grocery store, and I, and I played life. I played life with cars. That's what I did. So even when I was a little kid, I had a dream of being a family man. And it all comes back to this. I'm ready to be a dad and a family man. And I've always been ready. I haven't always been ready, but during COVID, I've, got, I've become a better person and I've become more present and I'm ready to be a father. And I want to be a father and I want to be a family man and I want to settle down and I want to have a lovely house with, with kids and, we're, and we have a Christmas tree up for three months of the year. That's the family I want to be in. I want to have a November, December, January Christmas tree. Is that fine? Yeah. Am I ready to have it? I am. I am physically and emotionally ready to be a father. But, you know, financially probably not because I got roommates, which you'll hear all about in the black and white episode. Sorry to bring it up again, but I'm just letting you know part of the black and white episode is me talking about a conspiracy mystery kind of thing that happened in the kitchen with peanut butter amongst my roommates. But I want you to know that my dream as a kid has always been to have a family with a bunch of cool cars. With a bunch of cool cars and intersections where there was not a lot of accidents. But if there was an accident, I did have a couple cop cars. I never had an ambulance, but I had like a couple cop cars and they would just go, woo. And then sometimes I would even pull over myself. It was my game. It was my world. But I pulled over myself because I wanted to be that. I wanted to have that structured life. I wanted to be like, it's okay to get pulled over. And I'd be like, hey, what's up? How have you been? And I got out of the tickets. I never got the tickets. But then sometimes I would have my son get a ticket and then he would come home and I would yell at him. I thought that's how you would talk to your kids because my dad yelled at me. And that's why I'm not good at speaking because he yelled at me. And so I blamed my dad again. It wasn't because I didn't read books. It was because of how I played cars. And I play action figures. Action figures was never like a family thing. That was always just like there was one big bad boss and there was one guy. And I never even played with the action figures, whether they were good or bad. I would make the bad guys whoever the way they looked. Like I would have all these different X-Men and Ninja Turtles. And, you know, maybe a Ninja Turtle was a bad guy one day. It didn't matter because my whole thing was like, you know, there was one major big bad guy and a bunch of lower guys, and there was this guy or maybe two guys, and they had to get through all these guys to the boss. That's how I played with the action figures. There was no family thing, but the family thing was with the toy cars. So that's why I wasn't reading books. The band steam beers, I read those, but that wasn't really helping my vocabulary. So that's why I messed up those words, and that's why I need to apologize to my mother because she listens. My mom's a big fan. She listens. Of course, she's a big fan of me. Okay? And if you say anything nasty, she'll know about it. But she's a loving lady, and she's smart. She's disappointed in my vocabulary, and she doesn't like when I say fuck, okay? So, sorry, Mom. Apologize. Send me money. Help. We need a lot of help. We need a lot of help. Send me some money. Venmo? No. Through your bank account. They're connected. I'm 36. Am I ready to have a family? Not unless she wants to pay for it. Wow. Just revealed how big of a loser I am. COVID sucks. Wish comedy was back. What are we going to do next? I don't know. Look at the bullet points. This is all real life. This is all real life. Right now, you're like, what's going on? It's a little bit of an earthquake. A little bit of an earthquake happening right now. Does it feel like it's shaking? Is that the camera or is it me? You don't really know. Could be special effects. Are you listening to the podcast? I don't know if that's the same as watching. Watching gets more views than listening. How about that? So if you're listening to the podcast, I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want you to feel bad like, oh, is it not the same experience as watching? Probably not. But some of you have to listen because, you know, maybe you're working or maybe you're working out. And that's fine. If you're listening, pull out your phone and leave a five-star review. And if you already have, thank you. But just tap the guy next to you on the treadmill and be like, well, he would be two treadmills over because of COVID. And be like, hey, can you leave five-star reviews on this link? I'll send it to you. If everybody leaves a five-star review and asks one friend to leave a five-star review, maybe I could be a father. And that's the goal because I need Patreon producers, people. I need you to become a Patreon member and I need people to leave five, five star reviews so that I can be a family man. And now think about this. If I'm a family man and I have a house with kids and a wife, I'll have a podcast studio in that house. Maybe I'll have episodes with my kid and maybe I'll have a little Michael Baby Jr. here. I don't know what his name's going to be. I don't know what I would name him yet. I'm not sure. Maybe Razor. Maybe maybe uh, Corvette. Maybe Ferrari. I don't know what I would name. Those are just ideas. I'm not saying that that's what his name would be. Obviously, I would have to take it up with the wife. You know, she's going to have a big, you know, decision 
a big, you know, opinion on what we name our son. But my whole point is I could have a fun studio with my family. And that's a dream I want to have that I've had since I had cars. Okay. Yes. Is this all because I didn't read enough books as a kid? Sure. But I need your help. I want to have a family. Okay. So that's just something to think about. And I could have that if you guys left more five-star reviews or join or join the Patreon. So you got to think about stuff like that. It's real life. I'm, I'm not even kidding right now. This could be happening for all of us. Okay. Drink some water. Water's kicking in. That's real. Coffee's kicking in. Water's kicking in. Okay? I had a coffee earlier. Maybe it didn't get to me right away. Maybe now it's getting to me. And I want you to know, I'm, I, I know this is not a popular opinion. I know that this is not a popular opinion right now. I'm going to let you know right now that this is not a popular opinion. But I want to plan my wedding. I want to be in charge. And I know that if you're a lady and you're listening to this right now, you'd be like, what are you talking about? Like, there's no way any woman you marry is going to let you do this. But this is my idea for a wedding. I want this to be my wedding. I want to be in control. And this is why if I do, when I do get married, my wife is going to love me so much that she's going to let me do this. She's going to understand that this is important to me. Am I? Is it weird that I'm a guy that wants to have a wedding? Yeah, it's a little weird because usually the guys are like, you know, it's for her. Let her have it. Nose is itching again. Because that happens every week. But I want you to know that I want to have control of the wedding. I want it to be I want it to be like a league of their own type of thing. You remember the movie with Tom Hanks, A League of Their Own? I want it to be a baseball themed. A baseball themed wedding. Hear me out. A baseball themed wedding is actually fun. You're, no, 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 no. Before you jump off board, hear me out. All right? Uh, 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 all the groomsmen were all dressed in baseball uniforms, right? The old school ones, like from the like the 20s and 30s, like a league of your own, right? The guys are, are dressed in like baggier baseball clothes, right? All all of them, and the women are dressed in baseball uniforms, like from a league of your own. That's where there's they are, right? The bridesmaids have their baseball uniforms, uniforms, and the males have their baseball uniforms. Then the aisle, the aisle that my my bride walks down the aisle, is a pitching mound to home plate. Home plate is where me and my wife. My, pot- my potential wife will sit. We'll be sitting there where we'll, we'll meet. My wife is going to walk the 90 feet. It will look like it will start at a pitching mound, and she'll walk down the aisle, which is really just towards home plate, to me where I'll be waiting with my groomsmen and her bridesmaids, and, and the priest is an umpire. Come on. The priest is an umpire, and he has a mask, and when she walks up, he pulls it up, and then he does whatever the priests say. Do you take this? female baseball player to be your wife you know what i mean that there'll be that going on and then you know obviously the bat boy walks up with the ring it's creative right but here's a kicker on the side we have two two friends of mine that are broadcasters too and i want them in the corner too and they're broadcasters and they are broadcasting the wedding like they're 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 commentating on the wedding as it's happening and then everybody in the fans, every all our family, my side of the family, her side of the family, they're allowed to like, it's not formal. Like you could wear whatever you would wear to a baseball game and you could put face makeup on. You could carry signs. So it's like, it's almost like we're watching a whole baseball game, but it's a wedding. And I would even say that if my wife wants to, this part is optional to her. She could slide into home and then stand up and then the umpire and then we get married. But she could slide if she wants. Okay. And her dad, obviously, is dressed up as a coach. He's a head coach walking her down the aisle. But I like how, you know, when the families are sitting on each side, they could be wearing, like, Team Linochi or Team whatever her last name is. And they could have face makeup. Some of them could have signs, like, we're a big fan. And then we also have photographers, too. And those are, like, actual photographers, you know. And then when we have the ceremony, I mean, when we have the the – the the party afterwards like when you know when uh after at the wedding when when everybody's like the couples walk in and do some sort of like dance or something like we're just like we're doing catches and and slides and stuff and oh it's gonna be great it's gonna be great and then hear me out i know that weddings are supposed to have like good dinner and good food and stuff we can have those we'll have the good dinner but for like the hors d'oeuvres handing out, just all of your favorite fast foods, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A fries, some McDonald's chicken, like just different fun things like that. 
Yeah, why not? Or like you have ballpark stuff too. Whatever. That part doesn't have to stick, but I think the whole the whole wedding idea, I love the idea. And I mean, there's more baseball things you could throw into it, but it'd be so fun. I mean, it's such a good idea. It's so creative. And you could take that idea, but I'm letting you know that when I get married, that's how it's going to go down. I want it to be like that. And my wife's going to have to be a part of it. She's going to have to agree to it. Otherwise, then otherwise, then what's the point? If I'm not going to get to have fun at my wedding and we're going to have to do some stupid wear a tux thing, what is that? We're not doing that. We're going to have a baseball-themed wedding. Now, I thought about doing it with other things. You could do a basketball one. You could do a football one. And then I thought about hope opening up a whole business of being like a sports wedding-themed business I'm, and i'm a wedding planner i'm a wedding planner if i'm not doing my podcast i'm a wedding planner and i and i and i and i, I make this movement for men to really take charge of planning their wedding and i'm like what's your favorite sport baseball is the best one it's got the best like setup but you could do a football one you do a basketball one you do a hockey one you do olympic one you could do a bunch of different ones. You could do a rugby one. Like there's just different ones. And then I kind of create it and I have a catalog that these guys are looking through. And then all of a sudden the women are like, well, what, I, you know, whatever. I can't. I, I guess I don't have a choice in this. And you don't because now you're too busy. You're working. And guys, we're just a stay at home dads. You know what I mean? Raising the kids and planning our weddings. And that's the dream. That's my dream business is being a wedding planner for men. And I think this is all a good idea. And I think that. I didn't expect to be sharing my idea with you, and I hope that nobody steals this idea, but I think it's brilliant. I think that we could have fun weddings, guys. I mean, listen, we're already having fun with the, the, the sex reveals, you know, revealing the sex of the baby. That's kind of fun, but it's also stupid. The wedding thing is way more fun. I'm just saying that's something to think about, and this is all, all of this stemmed because I couldn't pronounce a couple words because I didn't read enough, but I want you to know that that's what I want in life. It is my dream to have a family. So I want you people to know that. And that's okay because now we're bettering ourselves and we're trying to become a better person. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I want you guys to become a better person. And what we're going to try to do this week is be present. We all want to be present and I'm being present right now, letting you know that I feel like it's okay to share that idea with you. Now, I know that I probably lost a lot of you on the wedding stuff. And I don't think I lost a lot of the guys. I think that some of the guys are like, this is actually a good idea. I think some of you guys are like, wow, I want that. I, I like that idea. And that's uh, now here's the deal. If you are going to do something like that for a wedding, then I, ha I want to be invited. I want to go. I want to go to that wedding because I want to be I want to see what it's like, because if you're more likely going to get married before I am, probably because who's going to want to marry me just after hearing that idea? I just want you to know I want to be a part of that, okay? So invite me, please. You just have to pay for the flight and give me my hotel room, and I'll be one of the broadcasters. How about that? I'll be a broadcaster at your wedding. And I know I tried to pitch this idea when I had Guys Night Out, but I'm just letting you know that's an idea I want to be a part of, okay? And there's a lot of things I have. I have weird rules about things, and it's not only the wedding stuff. It's, um, you know, it's going back to... Uh, when I was staying a couple episodes, when I was staying back at my buddy Memphis's, we were eating dinner and I've, le I've learned how to cook. I've gotten better at cook during COVID. That's another thing that I've bettered myself going back to how, how, how do we better ourselves? How do we come out of COVID? How do we come out of 2020 becoming a better person? Everybody should. Everybody's going through a rough time. We're all having a hard time and life sucks for a lot of us. But the only way we're going to conquer this is coming out of 2020 a better person because it gave us time to really reflect on our life and and realize what's more important and that is your friends and family okay and now how do we better ourselves we all have flaws we all have flaws so how can we become better you need to identify those flaws and admit that that you do have those flaws and you got to have humility too we got to be able to make fun of ourselves and then when we do that if we work on those things it's not easy just five minutes a day turns into 10, turns into 15, you become a better person, okay? That being said, the reason I'm talking about this again is because I was not a good cook. I wasn't cooking enough. I was eating out all the time, not saving money. So now I started cooking more. My buddy had some sliced up tomatoes with vinaigrette, and I was like, well, this is really good. So I bought these myself. I'm like, okay, let me try this. I'm learning new things besides egg tacos. I've been eating egg tacos and waffles for fucking four months and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I know it's not a lot, but I'm learning different things. So I bought tomatoes. I sliced them up. I put a little salt and pepper on them with the balsamic vinaigrette, and then obviously I'll even throw in mozzarella. 
mozzarella on top of it. Yeah, and I and I and I posted it on my story, and I was like, "This is good." And someone's like, "No basil? What the hell? Why? How could you do that without basil?" And it's like, "Yo, don't come at me because of basil. I'm not, I don't have to be a basil guy. Basil is not that important. Okay, it might be for you, but I'm not a basil guy. I drive a Wrangler. I, I, I'm not. I don't need to fuck with basil." I'm, I'm a Wrangler guy. I could do mozzarella with the tomato, and that's it. I could do tomatoes without the mozzarella. As long as I have the salt and pepper and the balsamic vinaigrette, I'm having a good time. I'm not a basil guy. I'm not driving a Mercedes. I'm not, I don't have a four-door sedan Mercedes with the neon lights when you get in. That's not me. That's a basil guy. I don't need the basil. Some people eat basil by themselves. Are you an iguana? Maybe. You might be an iguana. I'm not an iguana. I'm a Wrangler. I drive a Wrangler guy. I'm a Wrangler. You're a Mercedes person. You might be an iguana. That's fine. You could eat the basil. I'm saying I don't have to have the basil. I don't need all the ingredients to eat something. A lot of people want all the ingredients when they're making a meal. You don't have to. You can just have chicken without vegetables. You don't have to have vegetables all the time. Why can't I just have chicken and a water and then call it a night? Why can't that be a rule? People getting upset about not having basil with the tomato and the mozzarella. What if I just had the tomato with salt and pepper? Is that fine? I drove a scooter for four years. I can have a tomato with salt and pepper and balsamic vinaigrette. The mozzarella is always going to run out first because I eat it sometimes just picking at it in the fridge. So don't get mad at me because I didn't add all three ingredients. I'm not a basil guy. It's not that big of a deal. Even when I'm at a restaurant, I kind of push the basil off to the side and eat the tomato and the mozzarella. What is it called? A caprese salad? Bye. I don't want that anymore. I'm just saying, we don't always have to go by the rules. Is that why I had a cookie for breakfast? Yeah. Did I have two? Yes. Did I lie to you guys in the beginning of the episode and maybe have three? Now I'm shame. I'm shameful of that. And I didn't want you guys to know because then I knew it wasn't right. It's not right to have three chocolate chip cookies for breakfast, but it wasn't all at once. I started with two, had a coffee, and about 30 to 40 minutes later, I had another one. I spread it out. I spread it out like I'm making a sandwich. And I think that's okay. And I think we're allowed to have that. That's allowed to be a thing. You're allowed to 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 have cookies in the but you don't wanna you don't wanna you don't wanna really like overdo it. And I overdid it a little bit and I lied to you and my bad. And I I, I promise going forward, I'm not gonna lie to you guys anymore. I'm not gonna lie to you because that's wrong. I'm I, I need to be honest and upfront with you. Especially because that's what this episode's about. This episode is letting you know that I failed. I failed you. I did a, a podcast yesterday. I had my it here. And we were going through everything. And it just didn't feel right. And I knew it didn't feel right. And I lied to myself. And I go, no, it's going to be fine. And then in post, I edited edited did, did the podcast. And I didn't like the way it turned out. And because of that, I was up till 5 a.m. thinking. And I couldn't sleep. Like it was Christmas morning. Looking at my wrinkled curtains and I go you know what I need to take after my I need to take over my day and take over my week and become a better person I need to start by getting the wrinkles out of the curtain and starting my day with a cookie and it was fine and 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 I I fucking went a little too hard with the cookies and then I lied to you saying I only had two but I had three and I feel guilty about that so I want to say this going forward I'm never going to lie to you guys I'm never going to lie to you guys I'm never not even though they're white lies. I'm not going to do that anymore. I want to be very honest with you. And that's why I'm going to tell you that the best trio I've ever seen in my life better than Dwayne Wade, LeBron James and Chris Bosh better than Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen better than Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman. The best trio is turkey, bacon, avocado. And that's hands down, hands down. Not you can't argue that. You put turkey, avocado, bacon together, it wins. It's undefeated. And and we're not gonna argue about this. We're not gonna argue about this. And if you disagree, I'm gonna ask you to unsubscribe and go home. I'm gonna ask you to go home and we're not gonna be a part of this. We're not gonna be a part of this podcast. We're not you're not gonna be on this team. If you're a Patreon member and you disagree with this, then you're gonna have to leave. If you don't eat meat, that's fine, but just agree with that's the best trio. That's the best trio. Let's just not argue about it. You put turkey, avocado, bacon. On a sandwich, with that's the best trio. I mean, we haven't even got to the a- aioli mayo. You know what I mean? The spicy mayo, whatever you want to add. All that stuff is extra. You can even put basil on it. I'm fine. You can put tomato and mozzarella and basil and balsamic vinaigrette and make that a whole big sandwich. But when you get turkey and you get bacon and you get avocado in the same room, now we got a dynasty. That's a dynasty. 
That's a dynasty, and that's how you win championships. A lot of them. There's a reason I like that, because I have a winning mentality. I have a successful mentality, a winning mentality. I want to continue to be better. I want to be a better person. You want to be a better person? Then you would identify that as the best combination. And I know that some people listening don't eat meat. You're That's fine. You don't have to eat meat to know that that's the best trio. You don't have to play basketball to know LeBron's one of the greatest to ever play. You don't I, I, I don't I don't have to I don't have to be a figure skater to know that Tanya Harding was unbelievable. I don't I don't have to I don't have to be a skater, okay? I don't have to I don't have to play tennis to know that Serena Williams is one of the greatest athletes of all time. I know that. So you can not eat turkey or bacon and know that turkey bacon and avocado together is one of the greatest trios, if not the greatest trio. And that's that's the subject we're gonna talk about today. That's the subject matter of what we're talking about, of, of how do we become great. Did I mess up that last sentence? I think so. I definitely messed it up. Am I going to am I gonna f- wrap up this podcast and then swing my bat a, a few times in my room by myself? Of course. That helps me. Do I like to swing my bat? I do. Not violently. Like I like to just pretend I'm like playing baseball. I still have imaginary baseball games. I'll sometimes go outside and have imaginary baseball swinging games with me. I'll, in my head, be up to bat and think it's the bottom of the ninth and think that if I hit a home run, I tie the game. If I hit a home run, I'm going to win the game. Is that funny or weird to do at 36? Some people might think so, but I'm letting you know that's how I let myself know that I still have it, that I'm still a champion and I still can identify other champions. Like when I see someone with a successful mentality, I want to be around them. I want to be like, oh, I want to work with that person because they have the right mentality. They're not negative. They're not a troll. They want to win. So I swing in the bat and thinking about winning. I'm thinking about winning championships. I'll do that because I know that's a successful mentality. I know that's the way you want to be. That's how you better yourself. Okay? So everybody, back off. Back off if you think I'm too old to be swinging a bat and pretending that I'm in a baseball game. Because at 36, you could still be playing professionally. Uh, in a lot of sports f- f- definitely basketball lebron's only six months y- younger than me i could be a baseball player and i could be a quarterback i could be a quarterback in the nfl probably not m- a wide receiver but i could still be playing as a quarterback soccer uh, fading out but i could still be in football and baseball and and basketball i could be in all th- three of those sports at 36 and that's why you're listening to The Takeover, because it's the greatest sports podcast of all time, even though we barely talk about sports. But I think, uh, you know, I think that's all I really have to say about that. I think that's all I have to say. Okay? What's your destiny? What's your destiny going to be? Is it going to be bettering yourself? Is it going to be having humility? Is it going to be being more present? There's a lot of lessons we could take from this episode. With our final thoughts, what do we take from this episode? Did, are we bettering ourselves? Do we know what the best trio is? I'm going to quiz you. I'll have a quiz right now. I'll have a quiz. There's going to be three questions. What's one of the greatest trios? You should know the answer because we just spoke about it. Okay? How do we, how do we, how do we be humble and better ourselves, right? More humility, right? And our third and final and most important question, what's for breakfast? Cooks. Cook, cook, cooks. Cookies. And that's fine. There's no reason you can't have cookies. I'll bet you if I had a chocolate chip cookie, one, if I had one chocolate chip cookie every day for a week for breakfast, just a chocolate chip cookie and a coffee, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, nothing would change in my life. I would be fine. I would still be having a successful mentality and wanting to get married in a baseball-themed wedding. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying it's fine. It's not going to change your life. Now, if you had McDonald's every day, is that probably not healthy? Probably. It's probably not healthy. But I think it's fine that, you know, I think it's fine to have a one cookie for breakfast. I feel a lot better now. I feel better for doing this. And, you know, thanks for all the new listeners and, and, and subscribers. Um, if you watch on YouTube, subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, if you are listening again, sorry to reiterate this, leave a five-star review and it helps. 
share the podcast. It helps. And if you want to be a part of the close team and the close community we have, again, I have a Patreon slash the takeover on the patreon.com. Uh, there's different tiers, but it's a close community. I respond. You can message me on there. Anything you ever want to talk about, you know, even if it's personal, you're going through some shit in your life. I'll always try to give you some good feedback. I mean, some people have reached out and, you know, asked some vulnerable stuff like they've opened up. And I think that's cool. I think that's cool if we have that cool community. So if you want, be a part of it. Cool. Um, you know, I feel bad like I'm trying to pitch something, but this is what all of us comedians are doing. We we have to pitch our Patreon because it's a, a way to take control of our own careers and, and make money and not have to try to get sponsors or, or studios to back you up and so that that's the interesting part um so i appreciate any new listeners and people who are still on the choo-choo train you know what i mean that's the important part but um that being said um yeah i'm I'm happy i feel a lot better i mean and you, uh, again the next episode is going to be a black and white episode i'll post it i just you know wasn't excited about it and i wanted you guys to know that i know it's not that good but I'm still going to post it. But that was the whole point of this episode is I, I needed to know that I let myself down and I let you guys down because I went out of my comfort zone to try to do something, which is fine. We want to go out of our comfort zone. It's okay to go out of your comfort zone. But I did it and I, I don't like the way it came out, but I'm still going to put it out. And it was my responsibility to like – I couldn't leave you guys with a half ass podcast. So that's why I had to give you two episodes this week because I did that episode, didn't like it. So now let me come back and do what I do. This is what we do on it. Now, I didn't have the it this week. Doesn't mean we're never going to. Some weeks, we're not going to have the it. Because some, some weeks, I'm going to be doing a podcast on the road. You know, maybe I'll, I'll be on the road and I'm going to do an episode where, with whatever city I'm in. With whatever situation. Because there's nothing really to do sometimes. You have so much time to uh, kill in between shows. So, I might do a road episode. But, I will have the it here. And, you know, the it's going to always help. And I revealed it a little bit on the black and white episode, but I'm not going to continue to do that. We're going to go back to the it. I think that's just what we should do. I think. But I, then again, I might be wrong. I might not do that. You know what I mean? Because it's all, it's all a learning process. We're only 22, 23 episodes in to the new format of the podcast. So we don't know how it's going to go down. What we do know is that we have each other. So, um, yeah, that being said, I love you guys. I appreciate the support. I feel like I'm 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 almost fully back to myself. I feel great and I'm positive and um you know, I got I got a lot of things to look forward to, which is important that we want to learn this week and and I'm I, and I'm happy I have this. I I really enjoy doing this podcast a lot. And if you're still listening to this episode, that's awesome. Because it seemed like I was going to end it a couple minutes ago and here I am still talking about it. But it's just thanking. Uh, I I just want you guys to know that Okay, so uh, that's this week's episode, and uh, I look forward to giving uh, getting feedback from this too as well. You know, hashtag the Takeover Pod on Twitter. Thanks for the people who are cutting up funny little clips. It's for me to share. Anytime you have uh, people out there who want to like cut up stuff, I'll always down to share it on Twitter or Instagram on the Takeover Pod Instagram. I will too, or I'll even post it on my personal Instagram. I love it. If you do some cool editing, I'll always give you a shout out. So that's always cool. Also, I need someone who can um, put the caption on one of my clips. I want to start editing my clips. I don't. I do a lot of the editing myself, but I don't know how to put the caption on. It's like too tedious. It's too hard. So if if someone's down to like do a couple of those for me, I always love that stuff too. So I appreciate it, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. So bye. <laughs>